what's up everybody welcome back once again to the motherboards.org youtube channel i'm Eric ferris your host and today we've got a pretty interesting review for you today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of 6950 one gigabyte cards one card from xfx one card from sapphire and showing you how they run in crossfire mode for those of you new to the channel crossfire mode is when you take two video cards you combine the power of them to have a single powered card which basically means you only got to plug a monitor into one card but both of the gpus are working in unison to give you ultimate power a cool thing a lot of people ask for the test station that we use here at motherboards.org and so i'm going to go over some of the parts that we use Starting out with the CPU, I use the Intel 980X, and I'm using a spin cue from Thermaltake to cool that bad boy down. I'm also using the Gigabyte G1 Assassin motherboard. This is the latest in their X58 gaming board series, and I'm using 12 gigabytes of the T1 memory from our friends over at Kingston. Beyond that, I'm using two SSD drives that I have in RAID 0 mode, and I'm also using whatever video card you see in the review on the test station. For the optical drives, I just use whatever I have on hand. But the basic things you guys want to know about are the motherboard, the CPU, and the memory. So let's move on and let's jump right in to this Crossfire review. So here's the breakdown. Some of the higher end cards are running into the five and $600 range. You can actually get a pair of these cards for about $450 if you look around. Crossfire configuration with the 6950 one gigabyte cards is anywhere between 30 and 100% depending on the application. Power requirements are still pretty minimal. The only drawback at all I can see to this Crossfire configuration is the amount of noise generated by two of these cards. Both the Sapphire card and the XFX card have very large fans and cooling, so they're generating a lot of noise by those fans. But beyond that, if you're looking for a really good Crossfire system, you want to keep under the $500 range and still get maximum performance on a single monitor, this is a very good system. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you guys further here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel.